Hey yo, what's up guys? Mr. Kydrix here again doing another video for you guys today. Today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my entire prehistoric collection video for 2021. This is just going to be featuring the figurines that I bought, so nothing else is going to be shown here like my dress park stuff or books or anything other than my figurines. It's just going to be this collection here. And um, yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so first off we're going to be starting off with my Tyrannosaurus Rexes. Starting off with the Schleich Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is my favorite um, figure in my entire collection. It's also my favorite Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. Here we have the other version of the Schleich T-Rex. Here we have the Safari Limited Tyrannosaurus Rex. I forget what year um, it was made, but um, yeah, I really like that figure as well. Back there we have another one of my favorites, the Papo Green Standing T-Rex. As well as the Carnegie Tyrannosaurus Rex right there. And then over here we have the two early versions of the Safari Limited Tyrannosaurus Rex, one that I repainted. And this one, I forget again what year this was made, but I have those two there. Here we have the Terra by Batat Tyrannosaurus Rex. Here we have the Papo Green Running Tyrannosaurus Rex. Here we have the Wild Republic Tyrannosaurus Rex that came in a pack with a whole bunch of other dinosaurs. Here we have the Kyoto Soft Vinyl Tyrannosaurus Rex. The Safari Limited Great Dinos Tyrannosaurus Rex. Right here we have the Collecto one as well. And it came with this little minifigure here. In the back there we have another version of the Schleich Tyrannosaurus Rex. Here we have the Mojo T-Rex right there, the uh, brown variant. And here we have a much older version of the Schleich Tyrannosaurus Rex. And here we have the Safari Limited Feathered T-Rex which was given to me by my friend Matthew the Dinosaur King. Um, I know that someone requested I do a review on it, I'll get right to it soon. But yeah, there's all my Tyrannosaurus Rexes. Actually, no, I forgot one more. Like there we have the Toy Major Training Company Tyrannosaurus Rex. So yeah, those are all the T-Rexes that I have there. And then over here, we have Carnotaurus. So we have the Schleich Carnotaurus here. And then we have one of my recent ones, the Papo Carnotaurus, and I have them both together right there. Oh well, of course I would, they're, <laughs> they're going to be partners in Mesoic Valley, so there you go. And then over here we have the Safari Limited Carnotaurus, that was given to me by my friend Kristen the Dino Queen. Here we have the Schleich one, another variant of it, and then here we have the Terabyte Batat Carnotaurus, which unfortunately doesn't want to stand. So yeah, there's the first shelf. Next up we have my Allosaurs. So back there we have the Triple A Allosaurus based on the artwork done by Charles Knight. We have a much older like Allosaurus, which I think came out during the early 2000s. But I really like it because it looks like Big Al from um, Walking with Dinosaurs. And then right there we have the Wild Republic Articulate Allosaurus. And over here we have the Schleich Allosaurus. I like this variant over the newer one because, you know, it just doesn't look right in my opinion and I prefer this one, even if it is inaccurate. But I mostly buy my figures based off of aesthetics more so than accuracy. Here we have the Papa one as well. Here we have the Safari Limited Allosaurus right here, the older variant. Not the newer variant, um, which is kind of hard for me to find, but if I ever get around to buying it then I'll have it in my collection soon. We have the older Schleich Allosaurus. And here we have a counterfeit of it that I repainted to look like Big Al. And then here's some dinosaurs that aren't really on my favorite list, but I do like them for what they are. So we have the Schleich Baryonyx and the Kyalophosaurus. They're not my favorite since, well, I do only collect my dinosaur favorites that I like, but um, I like these two figures here and they, they might make it to my list someday soon. And this open space here is for any Giganotosaurus figures that I'll be getting soon since Giganotosaurus is my third favorite dinosaur and I don't own any figures of it. So I'm going to be adding them here. Over here we have my Spinosaurus. So back there we have the Papo version 2 Spinosaurus. The Safari Limited Great Dinos Spinosaurus. The Carnegie Spinosaurus there. We also have the much smaller variant of the Safari Limited Spinosaurus that came out in the early 2000s. Down there we have the Toy Major Trading Company Baby Spinosaurus. 
And then standing on the back of my Papo Spinosaurus is the Papo Pteranodon, which I really like. Over here we have some Velociraptors, even though they don't really look accurate to any Velociraptor that would have been seen around the time. But these are just, you know, stylized versions of Velociraptors. So we have the Schleich Green Velociraptor, a much older figure. The uh, Papo version 2 of the Velociraptor, which I really do like. And here we have the Wild Republic Velociraptor that came in the pack. This is an off-branded Ceratosaurus, but I really do like the way it looks, so I added it to the collection. And here we have the older Safari Limited Ceratosaurus. I still hope I can get the uh, other one that they released, but I still have this one here. And here we have an Oviraptor made by Chad May. Oviraptor's not really my favorite dinosaur, but I do like the color scheme on it. And here we have two Acrocanthosauruses. So we have the older one made by Carnegie. And we have this one here made by Terabai Batat. And then last off right here we have the Safari Limited Yang Chihuanosaurus. It's a very obscure dinosaur, that's the main reason why I bought it and also because of the pose it's in. And yeah, I really like the color as well. So that's all the carnivorous dinosaurs that I have in my collection. And then here on the bottom shelf is all my herbivores that I have, which I don't own that much, but they're all huge. So they take up a lot of space, but I do plan on getting some more soon. So back here we have the Safari Limited Great Dinos Apatosaurus. The Collecta Diplodocus, another one of my favorites. The Triple A Apatosaurus, but it looks like a Brachiosaurus. And then here we have the older Schleich Brachiosaurus, a smaller variant. And then here we have the Safari Limited Brachiosaurus, a much older variant of it as well. And here we have the big Carnegie Apatosaurus, which is another one of my favorites in my collection. And then here we have the Amargosaurus by Terry by Vitad, this off-branded Apatosaurus, but I do like it a lot tied into the collection. Here we have the Wild Republic Diplodocus, as well as the smaller Safari Limited Diplodocus right there. And then over here we have my Wild Republic Stegosaurus, as well as the Safari Limited one, and the older Schleich one, the much smaller version, and the Carnegie Stegosaurus. I do hope to get the newer one made by Safari Limited soon. For now I just have these ones. And then here we have my Ceratopsian. So here we have the Safari Limited Styracosaurus. My two Schleich Styracosauruses that were given me by a friend. And then over here we have the Carnegie Triceratops, the older variant. An older variant of the Safari Limited Triceratops, the Papo Baby Triceratops, a Safari Limited Mini Triceratops. And then here we have the Pachyrhinosaurus by Terabai Vatat. And we have two Walking with Dinosaurs figures of Scowler and Patchy. Then there's Bulldust right there, though you can't really see him. Then here we have the Ineosaurus that was repainted by my friend Kristen. Yeah, I really like And there's the Toy, Toy Major Trading Company um, baby Triceratops. Here we have the Utah Ceratops that was given to me by my friend Kristen. And here we have the Torosaurus by Collecta, the Collecta Medusa Ceratops. Here we have the Annette's Titan by Safari Limited, as well as the Iguanodon by Wild Republic, the Carnegie Myosauron Nest, the older variant, the Styracosaurus by Collecta, which is a very awesome figure, an off brand of Triceratops that I think looks pretty good. And here we have the Safari Limited Great Dinos Therizinosaurus, the only Therizinosaurus that I have, and I believe probably the best one because I think it looks great compared to others. But yeah, I hope to get more since Therizinosaurus is a very awesome creature. And then back there we have an off-branded Styracosaurus so that you can't really see because it fell off the shelf. So yeah, there's all my herbivores. And then up here we have other prehistoric creatures that I have in my collection that I started collecting. So here we have the Invicta Woolly Mammoth, the Safari Limited Woolly Mammoth, the Papo Woolly Mammoth, the Safari Limited Mastodon, which is an absolutely beautiful figure, the Mojo Dinotherium, the Safari Limited Celodonta, or Woolly Rhino. We have the Mega Seraphs by Safari Limited, again, another beautiful figure. The Intetherium by Collecta, another beautiful figure that I really like. This off-branded Parasaritherium, which looks pretty good for what it is. And then over here we have the tube creatures from the Safari Limited Prehistoric Tube. And then over here we have the Imperial Smilodon, which actually looks pretty decent. Here we have the Collecta Androsarchus. 
the Safari Limited Hyenodon, the Mojo Hyenodon version 2, Deodon by Mojo, the Smilodon by Mojo, the version 2 of the Smilodon, and then here we have the Safari Limited Smilodon, the Papo Roaring Smilodon, and then here we have a, um, can't quite remember the name of this creature, I think it's called an Alphadon, but it's from Walking with Dinosaurs. Here we have a Dino Gorgon, a Dimensiodon by AAA as well as the Hatchling there, the Adaphosaurus that is made by an off-branded company, and then back here we have a Plesiosaur by Chapmay, and the Ophthalmosaurus by Chapmay. Here we have three cavemen, well the caveman, the cavewoman, and the child that came in the Safari Limited tube. Here we have the Safari Evolution of Man set, which contains Australopithecus, Habilis, Erectus, Neanderthal, and Homo sapien. Then here we have the Cambrian Life tube as well. Back here we have the Comfy Hours Dracosaurus um, statue. And then over here we have this dinosaur statue that, again, the company, I don't know what made it, but it, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex that I repainted to like the T Rex from Jurassic Park, which I'm going to be repainting soon. The Polar Lights Tyrannodon model kit, which again I might be repainting as well. And then here we have the Tamiya Tyrannosaurus Rex model kit that I painted to look like Grumpy from Land of the Lost. I will be collecting more statues as I do want to own more, as well as a few more model kits. For now I have these ones here, and I'll be bringing some more so my next few videos might just be me getting those statues that I wanted. Lastly, I have these rubber puppets that I own, so this one is of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. The Carnotaurus from Disney's Dinosaur. An Allosaurus puppet. This puppet of a Suchomimus or Baryonyx, or it also could be a Spinosaurus without the sail. Which is actually really nice, but unfortunately it's too small for me to wear. And this bizarre looking Carnotaurus puppet from Dino Land in Animal Kingdom. As always, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for holding out on me and being patient while I'm going through life. I haven't really been doing videos lately, but hopefully I'll be able to bring some more and more in the future as I'm still going to be making YouTube videos for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and look forward to some more videos. This is Mr. Kydrick signing off. Stay awesome.